Hey everybody, it's Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Land 3. Today we're going to begin the second world, and we start underwater. Which actually makes a bit of sense, because the boss battle was underwater. And the worlds are kind of sort of linked. The underwater physics are definitely a lot better, you just can't afford to go too fast because of the... Because of, obviously, the screen size. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, still not feeling the greatest, but I'm. When I recorded this, I was literally out of content, like out of new Let's Play content to put up. I was just putting up, uh, like just grab bag almost. And I figured since most of you come to watch the Let's Play videos, I didn't feel that's acceptable. Oh, hi there, bonus. I'm still unsure what what I want to do. Because uh, what's going to happen is, given the current pace of what's going on, if it's a if it fixing my machine costs about as much as I expect it to. There's probably going to be a two to three month gap for videos, which will give me time to do one relatively long project. Uh, I kind of want to do something mainstream to try to grab to try to grab some new viewers to accelerate the process, but I don't want to like alienate my old viewers by doing a game that's been done to death, like say Chrono Trigger or something. I do want to save Coliseum for for when I'm back at full speed, if possible, but I might not have the choice. I'm not entirely sure if I want to just do it now. Uh, you know what? I got a better idea. I got a better idea. How about I use this game as a test run for, for that and see what you guys think of, the, of this kind of quality? Since I'm, you know, obviously using new compression settings and just new recording settings in general. Because if this is good enough, I have no problem doing Pokemon Coliseum this way. Now that's going to be a much bigger project and there's going to be a lot more editing to it, so... There may not be daily updates. As a matter of fact, I can say there won't be daily updates for that one. There'll, there'll probably be every other day just because of the massive amount of editing. I've got some storytelling to do with that one as well, kind of like how I did with, uh, with the other Pokemon ones. Oh, oh, another thing I want to ask. What do you guys think of the storytelling aspect of some of the video series that I've done? Where, rather than... I did not need that to happen, because there's a bonus I missed. That I have no that I have no clue where it is. Down here, maybe? No, this is just an alternate path. But there should be a bonus! In any case, uh, I was, before I was interrupted by failure, uh, what do you guys think of the storytelling aspects of some of the Let's Plays I've done, specifically the Pokemon ones? Because if you guys want me to do more, more, more storytelling within the, within the Let's Plays, I would actually, I would actually love to do that, because I enjoy the story. Because I'm one of those people that, like, a lot of times, especially with RPGs, I enjoy the world behind the game more than I do the game itself. And I was wondering if you as viewers appreciated that as well, and would want to see some more storytelling in the Let's Plays. This would... This would most likely necessitate post-commentary rather than live commentary, 
But, yeah, what do you guys think? Worth it or not? Let me know in the comments, private messages. And, you know, just other, just whatever way you feel gets to me. Also, speaking of communication, what would you say to me starting up a board specifically for my YouTube channel? You know, like a free board? Just starting, just starting one of those up and, you know, just talking about my channel, talking about video games, talking about pretty much whatever you want to talk about. Just set, just setting up a board for you guys to post things on. Uh, would you guys actually sign up, sign up for a board and post there if I made one? Because I know a number of Let's Players have their own forums. I know HC Bailey has a pretty big forum uh, that he that he posts a lot of work on, and he has a well, he has a huge viewer base. He I think he's hitting 50k subs pretty soon if he hasn't already. I actually haven't looked at his. I'm I'm sub to him, obviously. I, love the guy's style, and just how thorough he is with everything, and I want to try to emulate him when I do RPGs, but I know you guys are subscribed to me for different reasons, even back when my channel was basically a grab bag, you know, with, like, magic videos, um, Stepmania, I actually haven't recorded any Stepmania recently, either, um, so... Maybe, would you guys want to see more of that? I could, I could think about it. But I only want to, like, start a board up if the channel as a whole thinks it's a good idea. Because that's just another thing for me to maintain, keep clean, moderate, and all, you know, that sort of thing. So it is definitely more work. But oh come on! I want to make I want to make my channel as big, well not as big, but as good of an experience for my viewers as possible. And and given the way and given the way my sub count has been like stagnating the last few weeks, I feel that I'm not making this the best experience I can. So aside, so aside from, like, the computer thing, let me know if there's anything else I can do to make this channel better for you guys. Ah, uh, come on. There should be a bonus coming up. I don't like the way the parrot controls in this game either. It's... I guess his controls were a little bit touchy in 2, and they wanted to fix that in 3, but it feels like they overcorrected on the controls. Okay. Maybe the bonus. Bonus up here. Bonus, 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 bonus. Bonus! Where'd the bonus? Come on, I want my bonus. Where's my bonus? Bonus! These are easy bonuses too, it looks like. Except maybe, I don't know. I'm not a fan of these maze-like bonuses. Oh, that was quick. Was not expecting to find it that quickly. Then I gotta float down through these bees again, because it's way too hard to hit them from above. Without getting hit, obviously without getting hit yourself. How many stages are in this world anyway, so I know when to stop. Getting there pretty soon. 
Yeah, I'll always, I'll, yeah, because the rule of thumb is when you collect the G, you know you're near the end. God damn it. Get down here. Oh, there was no barrel. I guess I had to go past him without a barrel. Oh, that was a fluke. I found coin. I completely spaced where coin was. And that's pretty important because you do need all the DK coins to uh, get the true ending. Uh, Jetty Jetter. I think I'm actually going to end up doing this stage and then saving and stopping the video. So this this will be a little bit short, but but not too short. Now, getting this DK coin is a little bit counterintuitive. You actually have to throw the barrel against the side of the stage and have it bounce back, even though there's no wall there. That's something you cannot do in Donkey Kong Country 3. Oh, speaking of which, has anybody actually made a level editor for Donkey Kong Country 3 yet? Because I would love to play some hacks. And not that stupid Japanese hack of 2. That That's stupid. I do not want to play something like that. Like, basically, I, I want to say that it was actually developed by the same guy that made, uh, that made Kaizo Mario. And Kaizo Mario 2. Collect 63 stars. And that's another reason why they couldn't have so many bananas and stars in these bonuses, is because the Game Boy had very limited processing power, and as such had a lot more sprite limitations than... Uh, than the SNES did. Like, I know Super Mario World can handle something like 112 sprites. Uh, is there a bonus up here, too? Yeah, just like in the old level. Or the last... Uh, rig... Or not rigging level, that's two... Uh, the peer, peer levels, that's what I was looking for, peer levels. Am I going to run out of time? Yeah, no way to, no way to get those banana bunches. You got to use, uh, you got to use the booty birds as stepping stones there to get to that one. So I have the DK coin and both the bonuses, so I think we're free to go. There's two bonuses in basically every stage, I think. Which is nice and consistent. Yeah, I know this this video is a bit short, but I think I'm just gonna stop here for now, and uh, we're gonna tackle the next stage, Black Eye Splits, next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong Land 3. See you later, everybody.